The internet has democratized the traditional methods of organizing projects. So I'm doing a PhD that is looking at new structures of filmmaking. Filmmaking, traditionally, has been a single director who calls all the shots from the film crew. What I want to do with this project is to turn this concept on its head and get a swarm of directors to decide what one person does. That person is going to be me, and I'm going to be flying out to Australia to a symposium about electronic arts. But I'm recruiting a swarm of directors via Facebook and Twitter to decide what I shoot, where I do it, and how it's going to be done. Isaiah Swarm is the persona on Facebook and Twitter that people can be friends with and hear the latest news about what is happening with this project. Isaiah stands for the International Symposium of Electronic Arts. So, if people want to get more involved than just watching the project, they can go to www.swarmtv.org where there is a link to a whole bunch of tutorials on how to use the site. It's not difficult and it doesn't take long, it's just a little unconventional. A film director asked me recently, but what if you have five different requests for your next shot? Which one are you going to do? Well, this is where I think the internet will democratize this. I'm deliberately choosing something like a symposium where each individual in a swarm will probably personally choose a different subject matter to shoot. But I want to see what factors bring these opinions to consensus, or at least a rough consensus. One maxim which I think will be very useful for everyone involved is to think globally and then act locally. That is going to be particularly appropriate for me with a camera in Australia, but it also works for anyone in the swarm who might decide, for example, that I need a particular script or we need shots from the USA or China as well. Another factor I'm looking at is what is the effect of the speed of internet connection? In Cornwall, we are very connected. It's quite easy for people to get super fast broadband, but does this affect the way that people interact and make decisions? That's something else I'll be looking at in this project.